name is Paula Deckers. I am the owner of the Northwest Bridal Showcase, and today I'm here with Melissa Vicente of MM Reflections. And our topic today, which I think is so fun and so important, is why do you do engagement photos before the wedding? I mean, why is that such an important part of your wedding photography package? I feel like it's very important to have because that way uh, the bride and groom are able to get to know me, the photographer, and I'm a good to know them. Um, you know, some people squint or have cheesy smiles. I had a bride once that said that she was a cheerleader and so, or ex cheerleader, and so she wanted to not do her cheerleader smile. Oh, gotcha. She wanted her normal <laughs> smile. So there was a cheerleader <laughs> fake smile and there was a normal happy smile. And so right. it was great to know that. Um, most guys are actually shy and so they don't know how to open up and it takes a little while for them to be, you know, open relax with me and relax. be their true self. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And so I like doing engagement sessions because we can, you know, get to know each other, have fun, and that way when the wedding day comes around, and the guys are getting dressed, the girls can dress. She's like, oh, I didn't know you. It's, it's totally fine. They're not a little nervous about me. They, you know, yeah. That's the one thing they can be calm about on their wedding day is they know the photographer, we know each other already, and... They're just more comfortable with you in general, yes. which is that relationship that we talked about in other videos about photography and trust and knowing your photographer and why it's so important to have a professional. Yes. Um, so that's, yeah, that's been, um, that is great. I mean, because I think sometimes... Um, we do get really nervous, yes. and to have that preliminary session ahead of time is going to break that barrier down. And then on the important day when things are a little bit, you know, stressful or nervous for people, they're going to be already past that. Exactly. And that way you can also know like what style of photography they like. Obviously, oh, right. they hired me for my style already, so that's obviously a given. But there's certain photos they like more, like when you have the sunburst in the background. Some people really like that. Some like a little more contrast or certain poses. And so when I do the engagement session, you get the photos. And when I see what their favorites are, that kind of gives me an idea of to do something similar to the same pose on their wedding day. So it all kind of meshes together. And oh, right. Okay. Yeah. And engagement photos, I think, um, are really important, too, because it, it is that before you are married. It's the before the Mr. and Mrs. Yes. and the big day. So it's a great reminder, and it's something that I'm assuming you probably have photo albums and things like oh, that yes. for. Yeah. yeah, I actually include guest book um, engagement albums in the packages, okay. uh, at least the top two packages. So you can have a guest book, and people can sign your guest book, and it's an album of your engagement session photos. Oh. Or people don't oh, sign I've it. Oh, heard of that. Yeah, and so it's super fun because it's almost like a yearbook. So you can like, you know, we love you guys, congratulations, and have that in there. And I think it's more personal from when I got married. I think it was a white album with just signatures. Yes, no pictures, I and it don't, wasn't don't personalized to yeah, you and your groom. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it's more personalized. And when people nowadays have even more awesome um, guest books, they can just go ahead and just have that as a display album with their pictures. and. Right. It's always a big thing. So it's kind people. of a new trend. Yes, yeah, having exactly. your having your engagement photos put into a, a guest book, and then you can use that at your wedding exactly. to have people sign and personalize it, which I, I think is such a great idea. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, and our second topic, we wanted to discuss kind of the after the wedding photos, which are sometimes known as trash the dress. Yes. Uh, what does that What does that mean? I've never done that. I got married so long ago that I don't even know what that means. Yeah. What, is, what does that look like? So when you hear the trash the dress, I know a lot of the brides, or especially the mothers of the brides, get very scared. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does that mean? What's happening here? You spent how much yeah. on what you dress? But basically, there's two types of trash dress sessions, and I've actually done both. So there's the type where you hear about brides wear the dresses, they go swimming, they go roll in mud, they, you know, they do random weird stuff like that. Um, there is a <laughs> photographer that does something with fire and light, and I don't know what he does, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's right, too scary. No, no fire. We're not going to put anybody on exactly. Flames, yeah, right? that's a little okay, too scary for me. Good. But yeah. I've done some um, in Kauai, Hawaii, and also in the area. We found just a place where you can go swimming in the water. And the one I did in Hawaii, the bride was from here. We got married, um, actually in Kauai, and we went there and did the trash dress session. And we found this lagoon, and she just swam kind of, and her dress was that perfect layer of oh, floats and wow. it was beautiful. I it was, bet it was so stunning. much fun. Yes. Yeah. And so that is super fun. At the end of the night they ended it by jumping into a waterfall big lagoon thing and it was just it was super fun. And those are fun and those are more for the probably extreme brides if you want to go on and do something okay. like that. And they don't care about hanging under their dress. No, and it's not and such most, a big deal for them. Exactly. Yeah. And most of the time it's like the ninety nine dollar bridal daily bridal gotcha. sale <laughs> not the you know, couture dresses. Please don't do yeah, that with don't couture do that dress. to your couture dress. It cringes Please. for me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but then the other type is just like, it, let's say you got married at a church and then your reception was maybe indoors and you really wanted to go to the beach or the park or some kind of location that is more you and your groom but it didn't quite fit for your wedding day. Oh, so what's fun you. is that you can have another day of just going out and having fun and, and wear your wedding dress and take beautiful photos of different location. So I had a bride that got married 
um, in a church, and then the reception was at a lodge, and they were, they loved the beach. So one time they decided, let's do a, a trash dress session at the beach. We just basically went and walked around, walked around the beach and took photos, and it was just a blast. It just had a lot of fun, and her dress didn't really get too dirty, the bottom of it a little bit, but no but more than the one day. day. Yeah, yes, exactly. exactly. And another yeah. one I had, they liked the pumpkin patch, so we went to the pumpkin <laughs> patch in a wedding dress, so that was very entertaining. And so they were holding pumpkins and playing in the corn, and it's just kind of a day to go out and have some more fun and go to places, an industrial location if you want, or right. like Gasworks Park is exactly. super fun. I was yes. just thinking of that. And, those, and it's, it's kind of like you can get the more fashion type poses and whatnot too. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so those are some really fun trends and um, just good things for the girls to know about. So we, uh, what we've discussed so far in our photography um, topics um, is why it's important to hire a professional photographer, uh, some of the trends coming up, um, the engagement sessions, and also you know after uh, the wedding is over and the different things you can do. So there's lots of options. Yes, there is. And um, it's a really important thing to think about when you're going about hiring a professional wedding photographer for your big day. So, Melissa, thank you so much for this um, interview, and thanks for the great ideas. And we will see you at the show in uh, January. Yes. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.